By now, we all know the story of the Titanic, but did you know that Dayton, Ohio had its own survivor? Philip Zenny left his native Lebanon to cross the Atlantic for a new life in a new world. He recently got married about four months prior to him leaving. So he was young, you know, 22, and he was coming over to begin a new life, just like many third-class passengers at that time. But no matter what class you were in, all passengers were in the same boat as the unsinkable Titanic did the unthinkable and struck an iceberg. He was sound asleep, and he, he heard something. And it was just not a little something. He heard something. So I have a feeling, speculation-wise, where he was at on the ship was closer to where they, where they hit. Um, because he, it's, it's said that he got up quickly and then went up and saw the chaos. And he had his eyesight right to uh, lifeboat six. Wow. So he, he wasn't messing around or asking no. questions. He went, I'm getting off. Yeah. yeah. He, absolutely. But as Philip Zenny's great-grandson Tom Heiser says, it wasn't that easy, and especially for a third-class passenger. He did try to jump, and he was unsuccessful twice because both times the officer pulled a gun out. And then when he looked away and the lifeboat was getting lowered, he jumped. Into a lifeboat, by the way, which held 23 passengers designed to hold 70. Survivors then experienced something horrific, the sights and sounds around them. You could hear the cries, the people, the noises of the ship sinking too. And, that, and it was something that really, really he had to push down to, you know, keep it from bothering him. Philip Zenny did survive, moved his new bride here to Dayton, Ohio, raised a family and was a successful businessman and is buried here at Calvary Cemetery. But Tom says he's sure glad he made that jump into the lifeboat for numerous reasons. What personally does this mean to you? I'm here today. From Calvary Cemetery, Jim Booker, 2 News.